espresso is secure with our door locked and temporary sheriff buck in our community. <laughs> How do you turn the longest continuously operating community theater in Oregon into a television studio? I mean, we've seen countless YouTube videos where people are just one camera filming a, like a high school stage. The audio is horrible. What we wanted to do is a real show. And so we tried to film it like a sitcom. So we're using three cameras, and this is a real standard format where you have a camera uh, on the left and the right and the center and that way you can cut between these different cameras. This is no longer a play. What we've created is a television show. We have a multi-camera setup in which we capture the actions of the performers from multiple different angles, and we have a live editing process in which we can have an instantly finished product that goes straight out to our audience. The opportunity to get close up on amazing actor reactions, because so much of comedy is the reaction. A whole new way of being able to watch a melodrama as an audience member, because unless you bring binoculars, you normally don't get that. Actually, after our first weekend of performances, I've seen that it's really working. It's broadened our patron base. We're reaching people in California, in Washington, so I hope I see you this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific time if you want to submit a heckle for our villain. The curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time sharp. Miss Star, Miss D, uh, I got a funny feeling about those two. <laughs> <laughs>